Today, I will present a way to automate your CV generation process, which will make updating your CV and maintaining multiple CVs for your applications much easier. I think this video may be very helpful for many people out there. What I'm going to present is an open source Python application, RenderCV. So RenderCV allows you to do what I just said. Firstly, I will show you what it does and how it works quickly. Then I will proceed with what you can do with this tool and how it will be helpful to you. Let's start. Firstly, you will need Python installed on your PC. Assuming you already have Python, let's open the terminal in VS Code. And then to install RenderCV, we will type pip install RenderCV. We successfully installed RenderCV and we are ready to get started. To get started, we will type render CV new and then your name. Render CV new. My name is Sina Atalay, so I, I will type Sina Atalay. And then press enter. As you can see, it generated a YAML file for us, Sina Atalay CV.yaml. This is a render CV input file and it is actually our CV. It contains all the information about the CV, including the design and the content. Let's open this file and have a look. As you can see, there are two different sections, CV and design. This is one of the motivations to use render CV. It separates your CV's content from the CV's design. So this is the design part and this is the content part. Content and design are technically different problems. So you need to focus on the design separately from your content and focus on your content separately from the design. However, currently in most of the tools we use to generate CVs, the design and content are interchangeable. If you are using Microsoft Word, for example, you're doing both design and content simultaneously. So you cannot focus on them separately. For example, adding a new paragraph may change the layout or do something you don't want. So updating the content of a CV with these tools gets scary with time because it affects the design. But with render CV, you can achieve this separation. Now let's have a look at the content part of this file, so CV. So the CV part starts with generic information like your name, location, email, phone number, website, or some social networks. And then a sections field follows. Under this field, you write the content of your CV in a specific way. To show you how it works, I will remove this part and then rewrite it with you. But before getting started to that, I will download some extensions. The first extension I'm going to download will be the YAML extension. So I will install this. And then I will install VS Code PDF extension to display PDF files in VS Code. And now we can go back to the YAML file. And because of the YAML extension, now this file is recognized by VS Code as a render CV input file. So if you hover into here, this class is the data model of the CV. So name, the name of the person, location, location of the person. So if you hover over the keys, you will get some information about the field social network. So let's say I want to add new social network. I will type network in here. And then if I press control space, it will suggest me other available social network names. I can add one of them. So I can add LinkedIn again, and then username, and then your username. So you can get suggestions by pressing control space from VS Code. And if you hover over the keys, you will get some suggestions. And if you add something weird here, you will get an error. It will say this property is not allowed. It's not a part of the render CV. Now, let me show you how the sections part works because this is actually where you write the content of your CV. So now let's say I want to add a new section to my CV. So under the sections field, I will type the name of the section. For example, my education section. Then this section should contain a list of entries, entries under this section. But what are the entries and what type of entries? So that's up to you. Render CV offers six different entry types and you can choose one of them and make a list of those entry types under this section. And let's go to the documentation of Render CV and look at what the entry types are. 
So I open the documentation. This is the render CV documentation. And I will click here, then I'll go to user guide. So this is the user guide. I'll go down and find entry types. And here we go. The available entry types are education entry, experience entry, publication entry, normal entry, one line entry, and text entry. And each of these entries are rendered differently in different themes, but you can use these entries to create your sections. For example, this is my education section, so I will like education entry. So I will copy this YAML file, paste it in here, indent it properly. So this is an education entry now under this section. So education entry can contain institution, you can get suggestions in here, location, degree, area, start date, end date, highlights, stuff like this, and you can make a list of these educations. So for example, maybe you do the PhD in here, maybe master's in here. As you can see, markdown syntax is supported. For example, if you want to link your transcript like this, you can, and then put it in the markdown format like this, and it will be rendered. So you choose an entry type, then you make a list of those entries. So under the My Education section, we did a list of education entries. So let's do another section, so summary section. And then I would like to have text entries. So text entries just strings. This is a text entry. This is another text entry, and this is another text entry as well. Okay, so we covered text entries as well. Let's create another section, section with experience entries. And then I will make a list of experience entries. Let's go back to documentation again and find what experience entry looks like. Okay, copy this, come back here, indent it properly. You can add more things. And are these fields all required? No, for example, you can remove location if you don't want to include it. And then maybe you can, you want to include more information, but you don't know what render CV supports you. So you come here, you press control space and you see the available fields that you can still include. For example, you can include location, but you can include no more. It will give you some errors because it will say this property is not allowed in experience entries. And you can put as many highlights you would like. You can still use markdown syntax. Okay, we covered experience entry as well. We have publications entries. So let's type publications. Let's go back to documentation. We have the publication entry like this. And for example, you don't want to include title. Let's see, let's see what it does. So apparently title field is required because it will complain. It will say missing property title. If you're using public entry, you will need the title field. So I will include the title there. And what about other types of, so we have one line entries as well. Let's try one line entries. So you have some entry types available to you and they are all in the documentation. And so you can have a look in here, then create your CV like this. And then let's render this. Okay, I'm happy with this YAML file. This is my CV, I wanna render it. So actually this is a very structured input format and render CV likes this structured input format it will take this structured input and create you an elegant PDF, which will be your CV. So I will open the terminal again, and then I will type render CV, render Sina Talai CV dot YAML. Okay, your CV is rendered. We got a PDF. Let's have a look what it looks like. So we have a folder in here, render CV output. We click here. We have some files and we have a PDF. Let's have a look. Okay, so this is my education section. It exactly took the YAML file and created this elegant CV for you. Now, let's say we want to change this design. We didn't like this design. So we have some built-in themes and we have all the design options like this page size, font size, color, you can change the color. You can give it as RGB like this. For example, I wanna change the color. And then let's open the terminal again. Under CV render, cv.yaml. So as you can see, the color has changed. So you can, you have some design options in here. You can change the color, you can change the header font size, you can change the text alignment, you can change the page numbering style. So as you can see here, it's like this right now because it's given like this. So name, 
page, page number of total pages, and if you hover over it, the name will be replaced with the name of the person. This will be replaced with the current page number. And then show last updated day. It's set to true. Let's have a look. Okay, it's in here, last updated in February 2024. Header font size, and we have all types of margins. We can edit them. For example, I want to have zero margin on left and right. Let's have a look what it does. Render the CV again. Okay, yeah, as you can see, the left and right margins are zero now. So it's all up to you. These design options show time spanning. So classic theme has this option, show time spanning. And show time spanning, it says experience, but we don't have an ex section called experience. We have section with experience entries. So let's type this in here and let's have a look. So it computed time spans for each entries because we specified it in here, show time spanning in this section. So this was the classic theme. What about the other themes? So I want to remove all of this. And theme, classic, I press control space and I see the available themes. Let's say this one. And if you don't specify any options, they will, the default values will be used. So let's see the default values of this design. And now render CV again. Okay, let's have a look. Now it's completely a different design. It's very different, but the content is the same and it looks still nice. These are text entries again and experience entries. So your content is the same, but you can get different design very easily. And let's try the other theme, modern CV, under the CV again. And this is the modern CV theme. So it's completely different design, but the content is the same. So with this approach, you separated your content from the design. And if you want to tweak something in this design, you come here, press control space and see all the available options for this specific theme. You can change the font size, page size, show only years option, disable page numbers option, date fit, content scale, color, classic. We have other types of options you can use. If you click margins, you will get all the available margins from the JSON schema like this. So with this approach, you successfully separated your content from your design and now you can version control this yaml file with github and then you can version control your content of the cv and your design of the cv separately and we have other outputs in here as well let's have a look at them in the file explorer so this is the output folder of render cv opened in the file explorer and we have not only the pdf file we have an html file and it says paste to grammarly let's have a look let's open this one so this HTML file looks very ugly, but actually it's very helpful because you can paste this to Grammarly and it will paste it natively as you can see. So you won't have any YAML in here or anything else in here. This is just pure Grammarly text and you can get some suggestions, really nice suggestions like this and you can do spell checking. So if you were doing your CV in LaTeX, for example, you won't be able to copy paste all your LaTeX code because it contains all the LaTeX macros and LaTeX syntax in it. But this is pure text that can be pasted into Grammarly. So you get to create your CV in a very structured manner as a YAML file. And then you get a PDF, you get the source code of your CV. So this is the source code of your CV. You can edit it in your LaTeX editor and you get an HTML file so that you can paste all of your content to Grammarly to find out if there are any spelling mistakes. With this approach, you can version control your CV and updating your CV will be easier than ever. Thank you for watching.